All right, what's going on, everybody? So it was announced today that My Hero Academia Season 5 is going to be airing on Toonami on May 8th. As I said in that last video when I talked about the English dub being available today on the Funimation website, I was surprised to hear that the English dub was going to be made available given the current situation of things. And even now with this announcement, I'm surprised we're getting the English dub so quickly on Toonami. So I'm definitely glad to see this. I definitely will re-watch the episode when it comes on Toonami. Now here's the updated schedule for those of y'all that might have not seen it yet so at 12 o'clock we have dragon ball super at 12 30 we have my hero academia at one o'clock we have food wars at 1 30 we have the promise neverland at two o'clock we have fire force at 2 30 there's black clover at three o'clock there's naruto shippuden and at 3 30 there's attack on titan so here's what i think about this as far as the schedule goes dragon ball super that's fine where it is that's a lead-in show my hero academia perfect I, I was wondering where they were gonna put this at first so that's perfect where that is food wars i'd probably bump that down i'd honestly bump that to where fire force is i'd put fire force to where uh food wars is at 1 30 well not 1 30 at one o'clock and then at 1 30 no i would actually come to think of it i would move the promise neverland at 1 30 i would move the promise neverland to two o'clock to where fire force is and then replace the promise neverland with black clover and my reasoning behind that is is of course all of the backlash for all the people that have already seen it in the Japanese dub there's already backlash to the show a lot of people uh, if you've seen it you know it's left a bad taste in a lot of people's mouth a lot of people didn't like the ending a lot of people a lot of people that didn't like the whole season so I honestly would just put it at you know at 2 30 where Black Clover is but other than that I think the, the lineup is pretty solid I mean regardless of what I think about Attack on Titan or Food Wars or whatever each one of these shows is sure to bring in viewers although with the promise neverland like i said it left such a bad taste in people's mouth i'll be surprised if the viewership for the promise neverland is as high as it was for the first season nevertheless i'm glad that my hero academia is returning to the lineup on may 8th and i like i said i'll definitely be watching it so thank you guys for watching like the video subscribe i'm out of here peace